Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am gonna show you, how you can reset your password, in localhost using Sendmail. Now let's get started. I have already created this login form, in my previous video. That's why, I am using this form for this video. This is the database for our form. Now let's create a link, called forgot password, for this form in index.php file. Set its URL to forgotpassword.php. Create this page. Now we will create forgot password form for this page. I am copying my login form from index.php file. We have to make our forgot password form like this, so remove the unnecessary fields. Change this heading. Change this form's ID. Change the value of this submit button. Create another page called forgotpassworden.php. I will tell you about this page later. Now we will write our script for this form. Give the form's ID here. Give the email input field's ID here. This code means, after submission, value of this email field will be shown using alert function. As you can see, it is showing. Let's write further code. This code means, after submission, page will redirect us to this page, that we have created earlier. And this div with class form message will show the result messages from this page. Now let's write code for this page. Now let's check this code. It is working properly. Now we have to write the query to search the email from the database which we will write in this input field.
include config.php file here. This code means, if this email input field is empty, then this error message will be shown, otherwise this code will run. This token variable is created here, so that user can reset their password with this token, that they will receive from an email. This variable will be a random ID. We will find an email with this token, and update password by email ID. This time function, returns the current time in seconds, and using this MD5 function, this time will get encrypted, and then this value will create a unique ID using this function. Now, create a table called forgot password with two columns, email and token. Now, we have to write the query, to insert this token and email variable in forgot password table, that we have just created. This code means, if this email row is found in the database, then this token and email variable will be inserted using insert query in the forgot password table, and this message will be shown, otherwise it will show, no user found. Let's test this code. This email exists in the database, that's why it is showing this message. And as you can see, this email and token inserted in this forgot password table. and this email does not exist in the table. That's why it is showing this error message. So, it is working properly. Now, let's move on. Set this link's URL to reset.php. Now, we have to create this file, in which we have to create a form like this. I am copying the form from my forgot password.php file, and we have to add two password fields to make the form like this. Give ID and name to both the fields, password and confirm password. Our form is created. Now, we have to send this token variable along with this URL. As you can see it is showing us the token variable's value. Now, we have to fetch this email here, from this table using this token value. Now go to reset.php file and include config.php file. As we had send this token variable with this URL, so using get method, we can save it in any variable. Let's do this. I am using the same name variable. Now, we will write our fetch query.
This code means, if any row find with this criteria, then it will fetch the email column's value. Display the email value in this field. As you can see, our email is fetched properly. Change this form's ID. Now, we will write our jQuery code for this page. This code means, after submission of this form, value of email, password and confirm password fields will be shown using alert function. As you can see it is showing. Now, we have to send these values to another page called resetpassword.php using jQuery Ajax method. This code means, after submission, URL goes to this page with these values. Let's create this page. This code means, if these values are set, then our code will check, if any of the password and confirm password are empty, then this message will be shown. Otherwise, if both password and confirm password are equal in values, then our password will get encrypt. And using update query, password will updated in the user table. And this message will be shown. And if the password and confirm password does not match with each other, then this message will be shown. Let's test it. Now, we have to delete these records after the updation of password. Let's write the delete query for it.
Add this query before this message. Let's test it. As you can see, email and token are inserted in this table. After updation, as you can see data is deleted. If you want to reset your form after submission, then add this code to your reset.php file. So we have completed our first part. In my next video, I will show you how to send email in localhost using Sendmail. So this is it for today. Hope you liked and learned something from this. If you do, then hit a like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.